Hi everyone, and welcome back to Africa's Vital Role in Christianity. And I am your host, Kathy Lucas, and I've got something really special for you today. As I was preparing for one of my upcoming podcasts, I ran across some pretty interesting information. Ancient African Christianity has a lot of hidden treasures, and I'm hoping to be able to share everything that I come across and share all that with you. I often go to a stock photo website to find images that I think will be a good fit for my podcast. And the search engine on that particular site presented me with some really beautiful images. And one that kind of captured my eye was the one that I'm going to talk about this night and inspired me to also do a podcast. So having said that, let's go ahead and take this journey. First of all, I'm, I'm going to do something a little different. I think it's important that I spell out terms so that you, my listening audience, are able to better understand the presentation. And it's also a benefit for those of you who take notes. You can also do your research. The words that I'm highlighting are today would be, number one, the Al-Bajawat. And that would be spelled A-L-B-A-G-A-W-A-T. Now, Al-Bajawat is an Arabic word and the G sound has a sh sound, just sound. So that's why I'm saying al bajawat instead of al bagawat. So I thought that would be interesting to note. Also, the next word would be necropolis. N-E-C-R-O-P-O-L-I-S. And that really means cemetery. The next one would be Karga Oasis, K-H-A-R-A-G-A, O-A-S-I-S. Now, the Karga Oasis, which is the southernmost of the three oases and located in the New Valley in Egypt's western desert. So I'm hoping that this gives you a guiding point as you listening to my podcast about the Al Bajouet today. And also I want to mention that you when you go to uh, YouTube, you can also get a vicarious tour with the videos of the Al Bajouet, the Cargo Oasis, and um, that will give you more of a visual. Even if you were to listen to my podcast, uh, either go there first and um, listen to the to the video and come back and review the podcast again so you can, like I say, you can have that vicarious experience. So today I'll be talking about the necropolis ne- of the al The al is the oldest known Christian cemetery in the world. It's located in the Karga Oasis in Egypt. Now, if you were to travel to al you would be in for a treat. It's located to the north of the Karga Oasis. Within the al is a Coptic Christian cemetery containing hundreds of tombs that date back from the 4th to the 
6th century AD. This structure also served as a church within the necropolis of the al Bajawat. Many of the Coptic Christian murals are very well preserved, including one showing Moses leading the Hebrews out of Egypt. And some of the more interesting structures located include the Chapel of Peace with the paintings of the apostles, the Chapel of the Exodus, uh, which is Moses leading the, the uh, children out of the Hebrew children out of Egypt. And it also um, has the Old Testament and biblical stories included in uh, some of these structures in these tombs. In some of these tombs, you can see colorful paintings of the biblical scenes, such as the Exodus of Moses, the sacrifice of Isaac by Abraham, and Noah's Ark. Now, these ruins actually predate Christianity and consist of both pagan and Christian temples, chapels, and burials. And they date between the 2nd and 6th centuries. However, this is considered to be one of the earliest and best preserved Christian cemeteries in the world. And I chose my source uh, for this um, particular podcast and that source would be www.luxortravels.com and Luxor would be spelled L-U-X-O-R travels.com so I this is a relatively short podcast and I want to thank you for taking this journey with me today and I'm quite pleased to tell you that you can listen to my podcast on Google Podcasts and iHeartRadio by typing in Ancient African Christianity. Please share, like, and subscribe, and consider donating to my podcast through my cash app, dollar sign, doll, 489, or my PayPal, Kathy Terry 480 at hotmail.com. want to thank you for taking the journey with me today, and we look forward to to seeing you on another time. Get ready, get ready, get ready. We're only just beginning. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.